Hello Stampers! Welcome back to RegalStamping.com for episode number 9 of I Miss Your Face, an online card class. My name is Krista Thomas and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I started this online class series, the I Miss Your Face, an online class series, because of the COVID pandemic and I just wanted to keep everybody stamping. Well, we're still not able to get together in person, so let's keep this series going until that day arrives. So today I'm sharing this particular card that has a fun little fold and the products that I used to make it are the Evergreen Forest 3D Embossing Folder I don't know if you can see, but these trees just create a gorgeous background. And then we're using two of the stitched nested labels. We're actually using the second and third largest sizes. And again, that's for the front and then for the inside. We're using stamps from Rustic retreat and a tree die from the mountain air uh, framelits or dies those are called majestic mountain dies comes with two trees like this and we're going to use one on the front the colors that I am using are just jade for the card base shaded spruce for the inside mat soft sea foam on the front short panel, crumb cake for the largest uh, stitched nested label, and then whisper white for the inside. The only ink pad color that we will need for this card is early espresso. So this card does not take a lot of supplies. And if you don't have the same things that I do, you can always substitute with a different stamp set, but use the basic card design. Now, I do have some card kits available, and so see my blog for details on that. And I've done all the cutting and embossing for you, including the cutouts here and the tree. You would just have to come up with your own stamps. So if you want card kits, see my blog and the date I believe is going to be September 9th right at, or maybe it's the 8th right after the Labor Day weekend so let's get to this put some things aside here and I have my card kit ready and starting with the Just Jade um, card base. This is eight and a half by five and a half, and we're going to score it in two places. We're going to score it at two and one eighth. Sorry, let's see. Let's start with four and a quarter. That's our middle, and then we need half of four and a quarter. So, yes, that would be two and one eighth. I had a little brain freeze there. Okay, now if you don't like scoring because you don't like measuring or whatever, you can just fold the card in half and then fold one of the, the front panel or the back, whichever, um, one side <laughs> back like that. It's a little easier to score it, but if you don't like the measurements or if those eighth inch measurements scare you, then just fold it without scoring. All right, next up we have our five and one quarter inch by four inch panel of shaded spruce and we're going to be running this through the new Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. I'm calling it the Big Boss because we also will be having a little one coming out soon. It's not quite available yet, but I'm going to call them the Big Boss and the Little Boss just for um, fewer words. Okay, so I am bringing in 
my new machine. Let me get it set up right. For the 3D embossing folders, we need the base plate and then plate number four. So all of the plates are numbered. So number one and number four. And we put the embossing folder in between those two plates like this. And then we crank it through. And I'll tell you this, new machine, this big boss, really presses it good. And I am so amazed because with my old Big Shot, I was not getting the deep impressions with the 3D embossing folders. I think my machine was getting old and tired. This new one is fabulous. So here's my inside panel. And I also will be running through the narrower uh, soft seafoam piece. So let's get it in there straight so that our trees are going straight up and down. We don't want them to go sideways. And we'll just run this back through like this. The soft sea foam piece measures one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And there we have, I'm trying to get it in the shadows here a little bit so you can see that. It's just beautiful. I want to show you one other thing though while I've got this out. It folds up for storage or for travel. So it's really nice, well made, heavy duty, and I am impressed. Okay, so here I have my die cut tree already and my two stitched nested labels. I've got my two panels that are embossed with that evergreen, I can never think of the name of it, the evergreen forest 3D, and then my card base. So now we need to do a little bit of stamping. And like I said already, the only color of ink that we need for this card is early espresso. And for the front of the card, we're going to stamp the um, cabin from Rustic Retreat. And let's ink that up. And then stamp right about there. I'm putting the bottom of the cabin at about the middle point of that label. And then I want the happy birthday sentiment, also from the same stamp set, Rustic Retreat, and that will go right there. Okay, so that is all I need to stamp for that. Now for the inside, I am using the sentiment also from the Rustic Retreat, and it reads, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. And so let's get that inked up. And I'm stamping that towards the top and to the left. Because I want to leave room for the deer, which is also from the Rustic Retreat stamp set. And I'm inking him up good. Then I'm just going to position him kind of around the bottom of the words, like that. Now there's a bear in the stamp set too. So if you're um, more inclined to put a bear on, feel free to do that. Uh, you could also make this into a Christmas card, just change out the sentiments. Okay, so to put this card together, I am going to start with this larger shaded spruce panel. Put some glue on it. And just center that on this inside of the card, the right inside. Okay, 
And then the shaded spruce embossed piece will go on the front panel. Just like that. And now we're ready for the two stitched nested labels. I'm going to give you a tip, and that is to put the inside one on first, because then when you put this one on, you can make sure that that inside um, label is getting covered. When I first made my this card, the first sample, I wasn't thinking, and I put the front one on like this, and then it was, okay, am I going to, you know, I had to kind of play with it. So I did find though that if you center this right in the middle of that inside panel, you will be okay. But that's just my little piece of advice. It's easier to put the inside on and then you know you're covering it because you don't want it to show until you open the card. So now we can close this and put this right on it. And because this is hanging off the side, we want to make sure that we're only putting glue on this left side. So when I flip it over, that's actually going to be the right side. It's backwards. And just like that. Okay. The final element then is to put the shaded spruce die cut tree right here. And I like to put the trunk of the tree right along the edge. It just, I don't know, it just seems, it helps me get it on there straight and it just seems to look better, I think. So one of the ways I love to do these intricate dies is to use my dotted tape runner on my silicone mat. And you don't have to cover the whole thing, but get it on there. And the neat thing about that dotted tape runner is that it doesn't leave the slime um, in between in the openings like the typical snail tape runners do. And so there you go. And that is how we make this very simple masculine birthday card. So thank you for joining me today. And I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. See you next time.